Today, on General Hospital. This should have been a Friday's episode. Sorry, not today, but yesterday. Hulu sucked, so I tried again at 8 and 9 and still didn't work. And then today, we finally got it to be working. But Hulu yesterday did not have good internet. And people are very mad that, we couldn't, that they couldn't watch it on Hulu. You know what? Hulu, fix your inter- internet problems or go away. If you can't fix it, we don't care about you anymore. Well, let's get to the big stuff, all right? We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Nurses Fall 2023 continued. So, we have uh, somebody actually came and say, sang out. Uh, she was, she honestly killed it. Like, her name was, oh my god, mom's told me a thousand times and I still can't remember. Okay, Daniel Ponda was the person who sang that song. And if you watched that video, she would, or if you watched the episode today, she was amazing. She killed it. They had all applauding. I think you might be a little bit mad at Carly. Maxie and uh, the singer were talking backstage, Daniel, Daniel Ponda. And Carly comes and she's like, hey, I just wanted to congratulate you. If you were still out there, the crowd would still be applauding. You were amazing. And I used my connections with Bobby, Joss, and Maxie to get in here. It's like you don't use an excuse to get backstage of a nurse's ball. Barely anybody gets to see the backstage of a nurse's ball. Um, Brooklyn. Okay, so later on, we had another performance. Chase and Link. Sorry, not Link. He's a sleaze bag. Uh, Chase and Blaze. But... We did get to see Brooklyn stop Link from uh, hiring Joss and Link talent. And, yeah, Joss has no idea why, but she found out. What do you mean she found out? Well, we finally did it. After Chase and Blaze's performance, we saw a... Sorry, this doesn't fit me. We saw a big applause, you know, and a... Uh, so after Brooke Link says you did a good job, Blaze, kissed her on the cheek, was holding her. And so Brooklyn comes and she's like, get your hands off of her. And she said everything about Link. He can't keep her hands off a of woman. He will threaten people to like, for example, me, Brooklyn says. He took my songs away and we signed a deal agreement that is probably illegal. I'm like, yeah. And so Brooklyn said, uh... There's some bad stuff about Link that I don't want to say. So, um, uh, yeah, and Link was like, nobody's going to believe your lies. And Blaze was like, Brooklyn's right. And she was, she was literally crying. She was like, everything Brooklyn said, Link has done to me too. So Chase was like, it's time for you to get off the stage, Link. Oh, says Link. And Link also says, well, you're not a cop. You're, you're not a cop. So how can you arrest me or punch me? So Dante was like, I'm a cop, and you're coming with me. So Dante pretty much saved the day. Brooklyn Blaze and Dante have saved the day. I have no idea where Link's going. He's probably going in uh, Spring Ridge. I don't know. But, yeah, he's definitely going to a jail-like place. Um, so everybody was talking, Felicia, Jordan, Portia, all beautiful dresses. Death was drinking alcohol, wine, and Spencer comes. Here we go again. And I mean that. So Spencer says, hey, does Sonny, does Sonny, my uncle, your boss know that you're drinking on my job? And Death was like, maybe. And Spencer was like, well, you shouldn't be. You should be working, not taking a break and drinking wine. So Trina comes. With Joss and sees all of this, and she was like, "I, Spencer, I, I thought many good things about you, but I thought that you were done. Like when I got with you, I thought you were done yelling at deaths. I thought you were done doing stuff to people. Why am I always wrong about you?" And leaves. Oh, we don't want Spring. I'm sorry, Spring of fans, fans. Just like this house, we're Spring of fans. Man, today was a bad episode for Sabrina. And so Joss was like, give us all a favor, Spencer. First of all, you hurt Trina again. Second of all, the favor is 
We should all we all want you to go back to Europe and stay there forever. And Josh leaves. God. And Josh was like, don't. Anyway, uh, and then Dex. So Cody, I think somebody else, Sam and Dante are and Cody are at the table, and Dex comes and says to Cody, and Dante's like, hey, take a seat, and Dex is like, no, I can't, I'm here for Cody. Cody, it's time. So Dex is going to do a performance, Cody's going to do a performance, and they might even do it together. Oh, I'm trying to keep things to order as I can, but that was actually uh, before, it was actually after Chase and Blaze's performance. Ooh, we'll see that in today's episode. Uh, Dex and Cody's performance, but Gladys actually sneaked backstage, and the jewels she had on, like Sasha and like Sasha gave Gladys a jewelry bracelet. Gladys was trying to frame Cody or set him up for something, and Gladys put the bracelet jewel jewelry like in Cody's suit or something that it said Cody on the hanger, cause that might be for his performance. And it's gonna be pretty bad. Um, what else happened? <sighs> Liesel. And so our last performance for today was, I mean, our last performance. We still got like plenty to go. Was uh, Maxie's kids? I think Georgie, Georgie, James, and Liesel. So they were showing some awesome magic tricks, which is pretty cool. An empty tube, nothing unusual. Well, they showed that there's actually plenty of confetti string in there. They also poured a regular glass of water and poured some water in a cup. Nothing unusual. Kind of. And Georgie actually saw what was her favorite color. Lisa was looking for all the confetti. She said blue. So, uh, Georgie used the magic wand, touched the cup with it, and the water became blue. She poured the blue water into the other cup that was sitting next to the cup she poured the water in. And she said she tapped it and the water disappeared. Good magic trick. Let's give an applause for Georgie, James, and Lisa. Well, that's not it. This last performance comes with a trick. There was this big, it's not a safe because you can't breathe in one. Like something unusual to that. It was huge though. And Lisa got in it. They locked it, unlocked it. Lisa was gone. They locked it, unlocked it again. Lisa was still gone. But the crowd did applause. Like they're like, okay. So I saw Sonny's smelling Maxie's face. And so if you looked at the faces of Georgie and James, you could tell that something was wrong and something was wrong lisa got kidnapped by one of uh victor's henchmen last thing speaking of victor victor catches you know valentine victor's like there you are valentine you're still alive the question is how for long they're not gonna kill valentine they're not gonna kill anna Okay, so you're probably asking why are we going to kill Anna and why are we going to kill Valentine? We're going to find out because there's another twist at the end. Today's a very big episode. Should have been Friday's episode, but technically today's episode will be Thursday because we missed Tuesday episode because of the freaking news. Um, Victor says, wait, Valentine, you just want me to leave for what I've been looking for my entire childhood? Not childhood, but like my entire life. It's not exactly what Victor said, but close to that. So Victor was like, where is the $35 million necklace from, made from the Ice Princess? Valentine says, I don't freaking have it. And Victor says, well, I'll just make you try to admit more. And it's like one of his henchmen is holding it in Valentine. And one of them is choking Anna. And... Actually, before Valentine was going to get shot, they got inside. Lucy escapes, the guards come in, and Victor uh, and Valentine basically got caught. But Lucy escaped. So this is what Victor asked. The henchman said Lucy escaped. Back to the good part. So Valentine was like, I don't have it. I've said that. 
So I think the henchman lets Anna go. Because the third time they were just choking Anna more. And Valentine said they had the necklace. So Victor gets the necklace and is expecting it. Like expecting seeing if it's fake or not. Like she, like she did with Mayor Ashby. That's one of Aline Ashby. Man, that was one of the last times we ever got to see her face because she's dead now. Let's, uh, and then Victor was like, so since you hurt me, like, you had one chance to become a son to me, which I never got to hold you as a son. And this is your last chance to, be, to become the Cassidine heir. Valentine, of course, said no. And Victor said, well, since you hurt me, I hurt you. Point of the gun at Valentine, banana, pew. Nurses Ball 2023 to be continued. I will see you maybe in like five hours. Sorry if it's taking so long, but holy moly. And if there's anything else I forgot, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching my video. Also, send a like. I hope you're enjoying the ride.